All right, I'm gonna show you how the software is laid out. What we have here is our CO2 supply, uh, cooling heat exchanger going to liquid pump, our pump, heating heat exchanger uh, going into the extraction vessel, and from the extraction vessel into a pressure regulator, into the collection vessel, and so on. First thing we're gonna do is enter our recipe. So we open our recipe screen, and uh, you see where you can enter all your set points. All right, I'm gonna enter my flow rate. Uh, let's go 325 grams a minute. Um, now I'm going to enter my CO2 temperature, let's go 52 degrees C. And now I'm going to enter my pressures for my uh, extraction vessel and collection vessels. So I'm thinking I'm going to run 300 bar in my extraction vessel. Uh, let's go to our collection vessel, let's run 145 bar in our first collection vessel. Second collection vessel, let's go uh, 90 bar. Excuse me. And let's go to uh, 47 bar in our third collection vessel. So we've entered our pressures now. Now we're gonna enter our temperatures. So I'm happy with 50 degrees uh, in our extraction vessel. Um, so let's tab over and hit, uh, I wanna run 44 degrees in our first collection vessel. Tab over, 38 degrees in our second collection vessel and 20 degrees in our third collection vessel. When you enter these values in, you get, a, you get your density calculation feedback uh, for each of the conditions in the vessels. So if I change this to 52 or 55, <laughs> um, you see your density changes and it lets you know if it's super critical or not. And finally, you want, want to enter your extraction time. Let's say we're gonna run for four hours, 30 minutes. And our collection time, I might take off for a little bit, but I'll be back soon. So I'll just let it hang out for an hour. When you have those values entered, you can save them out for recalling later. So save this recipe out as awesome recipe and save. So now you can recall your recipe at any time. Re awesome recipe and done. So if I want to really dig into the nuts and bolts of operating the machine, a lot of what I want to do can be accessed in the managed screen. One of the most important things that we do is export our data after our extraction runs. And you can do that here at the export data button. When you press that, it gives you options for accessing and exporting out the three different type of log files that the system collects. You have your extraction data log, which encapsulates your extraction run into a data log file. You have a system data log file that runs all the time. It collects all the data as the system's just sitting there idle. And uh, your event log file, which tracks every button press, every decision made by the software, and timestamps it uh, for looking back and see what your software did. Uh, in this case, I just want to export out the last extraction run, so I hit export previous run data, and you'll see it takes a second for the, uh, to do the transfer. And we can see here that the data was exported to the removable drive. I can uh, depressurize my system with the depressurize system button, which is an automated uh, process for bringing your CO2 pressure down. And I can also activate the clean cycle at the end of the week, keep my system clean. And before I start this run, I'm gonna explore the preferences. Um, first of all, I like my units in Celsius, so I'll keep that there. Uh, I wanna run this run in bar. Um, when I select always show set points, it actually just th throws up on the screen your set points that you've entered in your recipe. Include data log header puts your uh, recipe at the top of your data log file so you can refer back while you're looking at your uh, data log file. Um, display recycle feedback shows me my inlet and outlet temperature of CO2 in my recycle system and my inlet and outlet pressure. Um, display density will show me the density values at each extraction and collection vessel. Expedite pressurization uh, ramps up your flow rate to quickly pressurize your extraction vessel. Auto chiller on will turn my chiller on in the morning and that's my preferences screen. Now that the recipe is set, I'm going to start a run. If I hit the start button, I'm going to do a single extraction vessel run. I'm not going to do a switch over. And I loaded up my extraction vessel one, so I'm going to select that as uh, my vessel. And hit start. 